What's going on guys? Psycho Killer here. Today is Tuesday, so it's time for a new event week in Red Dead Online. This event week is good from today, March 2nd, through next Monday, March 8th, 2021. In this video, of course, we're going to talk about the weekly bonuses and discounts in Red Dead Online, as well as some news that we have to cover in regards to Rockstar and the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. So make sure you smash that like button, and consider subscribing if you're new or haven't done so already. Turn all post notifications on, so you don't miss any of the news and updates that I release here on the channel. This week, we have two times cash and XP on this featured series, Hardcore Most Wanted. In the Hardcore Most Wanted series, there are no ability cards, no special ammo, no tonics or provisions, it's just you, your weapons, and a lobby of other players out for blood. Did I mention that it's free aim? This is a mix of two of my personal favorite game modes, Hardcore and Most Wanted. In Most Wanted, the more people you kill without dying, the more points you are worth. Naturally, the more points you are worth, the more people are gunning for you. Here's my recommendation on how to tackle this game mode. Don't only go for the most wanted player. Just go after the closest player to you. If you're successful in doing this, the points will add up. This week we have 50% roll XP boost on all collectibles found in free roam, except for the condor egg. In addition, we have 50% bonus cash on all collector free roam events, as well as boosts in character roll and XP, much like we seen last week with the naturalist roll. The weekly collection this week consists of the Thule monster fossil, the Cephalophod Fossil, and a Rock Bass. If you complete the weekly collection this week, Rockstar will give you an award for 30% off any novice or promising collector roll item of your choosing. This week, we have no rank requirements on fence weapons, such as throwing knives, cleavers, dynamites, and other like weapons that you can find at the fence. In addition, there are no rank requirements on pamphlets up to rank 50 this week. Furthermore, Fast travel is free again this week. It is extremely rare that Rockstar makes fast travel free two times within a few weeks, so be sure to take advantage of the opportunity so that you can jump back and forth between selling your Moonshine Shack and your Trader Roll at your camp, as well as gathering collectibles. That way you make a larger profit off of these rolls. We do have limited stock clothing back in the catalog this week. We have the Mac Bay Jacket, the Winter Shotgun Coat, Calhoun Boots, Darned stockings, which can be wore instead of boots, not with boots. We have furred gloves, chaffer shaps, the Morales vest, the Bootel hat, and if you want to look like only PvP cat, we have the Cossack hat limited time this week. I'm not making fun, as this guy has got to be one of the best Red Dead content creators on the platform. If you haven't checked him out yet, be sure that you do. This guy is amazing. So, I would like to call this week Collector's Week, as we do have five gold bars off of the Collector Bag, which is required to start the Collector Roll, brings the price down to ten gold bars. In addition, we also have 40% off of the Shovel and the Metal Detector, which can be used to gather collectibles that you would not be able to collect otherwise. Furthermore, we have 30% off of all boots and vests, 30% off of Criollo Horses, I know I said that correctly because it's pronounced exactly the way it's spelled. And we have 30% off of all weapon and ammo pamphlets. For Prime Gaming this week, we have a free Bounty Hunter license and an award for the trimmed Amethyst Bounty Wagon livery. Also, if you connect by March 15th, 2021, you will receive a reward for 200 shotgun slugs, 5,000 club XP, and 50% off of the repeating shotgun. Now, on to the news. Last week, Sony held their PlayStation State of Play event. We all expected to see something from Rockstar in this State of Play, either Red Dead Online related or Grand Theft Auto V Expanded and Enhanced related. This, however, did not happen. Furthermore, it seems that Rockstar has delayed the release of the Expanded and Enhanced edition of Grand Theft Auto V for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, as PlayStation released a photo of four games. Two games had release dates on them, one said later in 2021, and Grand Theft Auto V Expanded and Enhanced had no indication of a timeline anymore. Although we were told late last year that Grand Theft Auto V Expanded and Enhanced would co be coming out in the second half of 2021. There's a simple reason for this, my guys. You don't need an insider or expert to tell you. As many of you know, the world is having a shortage of these computer chips. 
They have a technical name, but I'm going to keep it simple. They're called computer chips. These go in all of the, the computers in cars, systems, televisions, anything that has a brain, these chips go inside those computers. So in addition to the scalpers, this is another reason why it's so hard to get next generation consoles. Couple the lack of consoles with the amount of servers that will be needed to run a next gen edition of Grand Theft Auto 5 or Red Dead Online, or Red Dead Redemption 2, it has halted the process. In addition, Rockstar is in the business of making money. In order to make money, people would have to buy these versions of the games that they would release, as well as the in-game purchases like shark cards and gold bars. They can release as many copies of these games as they want, but if nobody has the consoles, they won't sell. They won't make money off of it. Rockstar is an extremely smart money-making company. I mean, for God's sakes, they've been milking Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online for eight freaking years. They know what they're doing. So, the chips are becoming more readily available. So you will see the next generation consoles becoming more readily available as well in the coming months, as well as the release of games we've been waiting on, such as Grand Theft Auto, and possibly some sort of indication as to what Rockstar's plans are with Red Dead and the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. So, that, my guys, is all I have for you in this video. If it was helpful for you, don't forget to smash that like button, as well as subscribe with all post notifications turned on, so you don't miss any of the content I release here on the channel. We're certain, currently sitting at 55 subscribers at the time of making this video. I really want to hit 100 subscribers by spring, which is coming up in 18 days. We've got 18 days to hit 100 subscribers. I really want to hit that. That is my goal. It seems almost impossible, but I'm not changing my goal. So, if you guys have friends, family members, co-workers that play Red Dead Online, that play Grand Theft Auto Online, or just big fans of video games or Rockstar, let them know about the channel. Share the channel with them, and you can share the link and send it to them. Just tell them about it, show it to them on your phone. Check out the channel. Have them check out the channel, and let's get the subscriber up to 100. Those of you that are subscribed to me, Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. There's no way to put into words how much I appreciate those of you that come out here every single week and watch my videos, watch my live streams. I, I am extremely appreciative of that. So keep it coming, guys. Just keep on coming and keep on supporting me. I'll never ask for your money. I'll never ask for channel memberships or anything like that. Even when they become available, I'm never going to push that. I'm thankful for the subscribers. Just the subscribers alone are my community, and I appreciate that. And those of you that are bigger than me, that came over here from other platforms, other communities that I'm in, um, especially the JK Gamers, Gamer Army community, Molecular Mage and them guys, thank you for giving me the time of day that you give me to watch my videos and click the like button. Uh, I'm extremely humbled by that. It's This is an amazing thing. Yeah, I want to get my subscribers up, but I do this because I love doing it. I love going on the live streams and talking to people, having them come into the lobbies and play with me. I love making these videos and keeping people informed and entertained. I know I'm pretty choppy to start with. I've only been doing this for six months. I know that as we go, I'll get better equipment, and I'll get better at doing this. And I'm just glad that I've got 55 of you that are here with me since you know pretty much the beginning. And... I just can't wait to see what the future holds for all of us in this Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Online community. You guys are awesome. So, tune in next Friday, guys. Not next Friday, this coming Friday evening for episode 2 of my Rags to Riches Psycho Ghost West series for Red Dead Redemption. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you go give that first episode a look. And as always, guys, I will see you on the flip side.